Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to restore a database to a specific time, also known as point in time in SQL Server. And we'll be using two methods to do that. One is using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface, and other is using T-SQL script. And I have written down a scenario. Scenario is that you have a full backup that you have taken at 6.03 p.m. And um, it had, uh, your database status was, it contains table customer. And then after that, you went ahead and uh, added uh, another table um, and took the differential backup. So the change that happened in your database between full backup and differential backup is added another table. So we took the differential uh, uh, backup at 605, which has two tables, customer one and customer two. Then after that, I have scheduled transaction log backup, which happened at 606. And in real life scenario, in real organization, uh, this scenario is there, but uh, the timing, I just put it out there for demo purposes, uh, just uh, how to restore uh, point in time. So transaction log 606, table had one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this database has five tables. Someone went ahead at 609, deleted the table of four and five, basically 607 right here so um, and it was detected and uh, um, somebody told the DBA that um, you know the delete happened at 607 and DBA right away knew that okay good good safe because I have a transaction log backup at 606 which means that all tables in the database were present at that time so what I'm going to do is go ahead and restore my database from 603 to 606 and that way I'll recover my database to its good state which means that it had one two three four five and we're saving changes would happen from 603 to 606 so this is the scenario we're gonna go ahead and uh, implement that scenario uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the first method up here using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and then we're gonna perform the same thing using T-SQL script. So here's my server, Tech Brothers SQL Server, SQL Prod is my instance and here's the database and database in question right now we're doing is sales orders database. So uh, let's say that uh, somebody deleted that database so we're going to perform these three steps right here perform manually full backup, manually differential backup, and then manually transactional log backup. Now keep in mind when we do the full backup restore, we need to have our database in no recovery mode because we still have differential and transaction log backup to be restored. So it's a, a differential backup is the same thing that when you do the differential backup, uh, you're going to uh, do the uh, uh, in no recovery mode so that you can go ahead and do the transaction log backup keep in mind that this whole thing can be done in one step but I'm going to do it in um, two steps and um, uh, to recover the database but uh, there you know you might have a situation where you have to do it in two step but the whole thing can be done in one step so we're gonna go ahead and right click on the database and restore the database First, what we're going to do is um, click on device and find our full backup. And up here, the full backup right here is 603. It happened at 603. We're going to go ahead and select that. And then we're going to go ahead and click on our differential backup, which happened at 605. We're going to go ahead and click that. Uh, basically, let me show you first the tables right now we have customer two and three and we're missing four and five tables so we're going to restore once our restore is completed we should see customer two three four and five table so I'm gonna go ahead and perform the same thing click on device add your full backup right here and then add your differential backup 605 click OK 
as you can see full backup differential backup and if you go to option we are not going to restore with recovery since our differential uh, transaction log backup still needs to be restored so we're going to go ahead and restore with no recovery and we're going to go ahead and overwrite existing database so as you can see we're restoring the full backup differential backup and then we're going to go ahead and do the transaction click ok All right, we got an error. Let's look at the error. As it shows that database is in use, so we're gonna go in option and click on close connection. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK now. So it should close all the connection and restore our database. So as you can see, that database is in restore mode still it's waiting for us to bring it online and the way that we wanted to bring it online we wanted to go ahead and restore the last transaction log backup where uh, we have the tables that really were deleted during differential and uh, transaction log backup so i'm going to go ahead and restore transaction log backup and i'm going to click on device add and here is our transaction log backup right here click OK we're gonna up here we have restore with recovery that means that once the restore is completed our database should come online and we should have all those tables in there so we're gonna go ahead and look at general option we're good with that so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and our database is restored as you can see it's out of the uh, restore mode so we're gonna go ahead and refresh and look at the tables as you can see our four and five table are back online so we're gonna go ahead and delete these tables again so that we can perform using T-SQL so I have a script right here go to file and we have point in time restore as you can see right here is taking the tail log backup and then after that is is restoring the full backup in no recovery differential backup in no recovery as i said that you could have added uh, your transactions right there in step one and it would have restored everything but i just wanted to show you that how you do it in no recovery and uh, still have database in restore mode and go ahead and um, get your transaction restored and bring the database online so up here we're going to go ahead and use this script all right as you can see that uh, database restore is completed and we're going to go ahead and see that if our tables are back in there as you can see our tables are back in our database so basically this is how you restore in time if you know your uh, transactions are intact and you know the time that when something disaster happened to your particular database you can use your full database you can use your differential uh, uh, log uh, differential backup and you can use transaction log backup and restore your database to a good state and i hope this video helps and that we went through this particular scenario and we executed using sql server management studio and we executed using t script and again i hope this video helps